On December 26, 2024, while much of the West was recovering from Christmas celebrations, China was sharpening its military focus. For China, this date marks the birthday of Mao Zedong, the founding father of the People's Republic of China, a day of national significance. To commemorate this, Beijing unveiled a series of advanced war machines, leaving social media and military analysts stunned. The first major reveal was China's largest ever amphibious assault ship. Shortly afterward, videos of two still fighter jets, resembling UFOs, surfaced online. These aircraft were reportedly sixth generation steel fighters, making their maiden flights. One of these jets, likely produced by the Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group, was seen alongside a J 20 Mighty Dragon. Chengdu, one of China's key aircraft manufacturers, is already known for developing the J-10 Vigorous Dragon and the J-20 Stealth Fighter. The new Stealth Fighter, tentatively referred to as the J-36, displayed groundbreaking features. It boasts a diamond-shaped delta wing and a talus design, enhancing stealth by reducing radar signature and drag while allowing for supersonic cruising. Its larger size suggests long-range operational capabilities with a higher payload capacity. Uniquely, the jet has a triple air intake system, one on top and two on either side of the fuselage, indicating the presence of three engines. No current fighter jet in the world has such a configuration. This feature could enable high-altitude, long-range, and high-speed operations, making the G-36 a potential game-changer. Meanwhile, 2,500 kilometers away in Shenyang, another Chinese aircraft manufacturer, the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, unveiled a second prototype of a sixth-generation fighter jet. Unlike Chengdu's delta wing design, the Shenyang jet features a swept wing, lambda wing configuration. This aircraft, similar in size to the G-16, also has a talus designed for improved stealth and low observability. Together, these unveilings make China the first country to showcase two sixth-generation fighter prototypes ahead of other global powers like the United States, France, Germany, and the UK, whose designs remain conceptual. The strategic timing of these unveilings is significant. Military experts believe that whichever nation first operationalizes sixth-generation fighters will dominate future air combat. These advanced jets surpass their fifth-generation counterparts in stealth, supercruise capabilities, dogfighting, beyond visual range operations, cyber and space warfare integration, and cutting-edge weaponry, including energy-based weapons like lasers. Although China plans to fully deploy these aircraft by 2032, they are still in the developmental stage. In addition to the new fighter jets, China commissioned a powerful amphibious assault ship named Sichuan on December 26. With a displacement of 40,000 tons, the ship is equipped with an electromagnetic catapult and can carry fighter jets, helicopters, tanks, and hundreds of troops. This enhances China's ability to conduct island assaults. sending a clear signal regarding its stance on Taiwan. Beijing reiterated its commitment to reunification, warning against Taiwanese independence and U.S. military support for the island. Despite these advancements, the Pentagon's latest report highlights that the Chinese Air Force still lags behind the U.S. in terms of numbers, quality, experience, and combat capability. Additionally, internal challenges, including an anti-corruption campaign that has led to the dismissal of two defense ministers and several high-ranking generals, have created turbulence within China's military ranks. However, with the reveal of these sixth-generation jets, 
China has significantly narrowed the gap in military technology, further solidifying its aspirations to become a global military superpower 